And then we're going to add another flower. And it's going to rest right about here. Let's go ahead and move that under flower 2A. And then we're going to add this little starfish right here. And we're going to put her behind this flower right here. And then we're going to add this shell. And as I drag this over, it is on top of my bucket. I want to put it between these two frame pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have it scooted over just enough so that it does not go into my picture. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to put it underneath the frame copy. So now it's tucked between my two frames. I might want to bring it down just a little bit more. Then I'm going to bring in a ribbon and we're going to put that up here. And then we're going to bring in a second little ribbon, curled ribbon, and we're going to place it right there. Let's go ahead and bring it over just a little bit more. Then we're going to add some pieces of foliage. I'm going to bring that in here. I want that to go under my ribbon. So I'm going to drag that layer under the ribbon and maybe tilt it just a little bit more right in here. Then we're going to pick up another piece of foliage here and we're going to drop it in here. I want this foliage to be on top of this flower so I'm going to drag it up. If you'll remember that's my flower to be. So we're going to put it whoops, on top of it. And maybe tilt it a little bit here. So it kind of comes out of that flower and rests over there. And then we're going to use this little piece of foliage. And we're going to bring that over here. I want it to rest behind my starfish. Now in this, I happen to put it underneath my ribbon as well. But you know, now I think I kind of like it on top of that ribbon. It's all kind of a personal preference of what you like. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring in, and I want them at the top, so we're going to bring in our little dragonflies and we're going to place them right in here. And now just from a simple accent cluster, we have built a cluster with frames. And we're going to turn off our picture and our papers and there we have our cluster with frames. We're going to do as we did with the other. We'll go